Hello, everybody, and welcome to Draft Horses, the show that's recently been made illegal in the state of Florida. I'm Tim Splosion. I'm Puffy the Ravenpuff. I'm Bob. I'm the Bird Gang. And I'm Aki Neko. And today on the show, it's that time of year, or at least it will be when you guys are watching this, where love is in the air and it's time to make some horses kiss. Within the, the Brody fandom, there's been a game that's been around for a few years called Twilight Sparkle Secret Ship Thick Folder. And it's kind of perfect for what we're doing today. We are going to be drawing ponies and situations from the Ship Thick Folder game and drawing them for your viewing pleasure. It's kind of the basic gist. Um, it's funny, I'm so used to being like interrupted by other people. Like, <laughs> Sorry <laughs> <laughs> that we are being polite. Yeah, is, is Go on, keep talking. My God, the European politeness has taken over the chat. There's We're two Americans in here. I've gotten all the way over to America. <laughs> no escaping it. The, you will be polite too. <laughs> the tension is in the air as we all just gaze into each other's eyes and wonder what might be. But instead of that, we're going to be drawing some dumb fucking horses. Tension um, in the air? Wrong. <laughs> sulfuric acid. <laughs> gas leak. Love is rat in attack. the air? Wrong. Mustard gas. Wrong. Rat attack. Rat attack. Rat attack. Rat attack. <laughs> Let's get right into the drawing here. Uh, would anyone like to volunteer to go first? Not it. I will. No. Aki, I'll take you I'm up on that then. Terrified. Let's do it. We have a volunteer for tribute. My volunteer is yep, Sacrifice. Do. Sacrifice. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's got to do it. <laughs> so let's let's draw your cards here. Oh boy! The first pony I have got for you Pop is screen. Princess Luna, and you will be shipping them with Ooh Queen Chrysalis. Oh, oh boy! Oh. Let's see. Boy, let's let's see what situation we've got because I've also got the uh, ship cards from the game. Princess Luna and Queen Chrysalis. One of them will be leaving on a personal crusade. You have a tragic party to draw. Evil gig. Evil gig. I'm evil trying to, gig. Okay, so I've immediately got something in my head. I'm just trying to figure out the proper setup for it. Um, evil like a, gig. Like a crusade. Evil gig. Like my brain immediately is like, you know, like one of them. One of them is is literally leaving on like like a crusade. I would I would greatly appreciate some input. Bizarrely, my, the first ball that comes into my head is like doing a parody of like the ending of Casablanca for some weird reason. <laughs> uh, pretend I know what you're talking about. Pretend I don't. So I've never seen Phil Meebre if I'm honest. So. See, I hate this because I know it's supposed to be shipping, but I mean the other the other crusade piece is just <laughs> you know up up on up on top of the castle, and and the other one just insert Monty Python reference. <laughs> IDK, I've never watched it. I'm sorry. <laughs> Your mother was a Paris Bright and your father smelled of dingleberries. Yeah. <laughs> I'm I'm thinking okay, about like wanna... Nightmare Moon and Chrysalis being like evil girlfriends and it's oh, like Oh no, that's so hot. And it's like Nightmare Moon like right before getting like banished, like meeting okay, so with Chrysalis yeah, one last time. Not, it's not Luna anymore, it's Nightmare Moon now. Okay. We're, uh, we're doing that. That's the thing. Okay, evil so which one one of them is protecting their evil kingdom and the other one's going off to expand it and they're having a heartfelt goodbye on the eve of war the eve of nightmare moon getting banished it's like now now i'm kind of now i'm kind of thinking of them like like fighting and it just kind of being like like enemies to lovers and <laughs> they shout and they yell and they argue and then they make out and then they start. Okay, actually, yeah, no. Okay, yeah, done, done. Word, word, word. We're so bad. committing to this bit. Is this toxic Yuri? <laughs> it's toxic Yuri. <laughs> <laughs> we can't go be yonder rays. God. <laughs> Both yonder. <laughs> all right, all right. This is this is yeah. Um, it would probably help if I actually bothered looking up references for either one of them. I mean, <laughs> I've got one tattoo on my entire body, and it's literally Nightmare Moon. But I need the. <laughs> I need to like make sure. Wait, that's cool as fuck. When did when did you get that? <laughs> I got it from at my uh, my very first ever pony convention that I also very first ever vended at, which was BabsCon 2015. And I got it from the Tat Horse. Nice. And uh, this year at BabsCon, 
uh, after eight years, I actually got to get it touched up by her as well, which was amazing. Beautiful and fresh, and I'm I'm very 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 happy with it. So this, this is like a this is like a moment of realization, is it? That we're drawing right now. Yeah, it's just it's them like you know like they're in like the midst of like a heated battle. Oh goodness, there's there's the there's the lag. That's what I was expecting. Um, they're in the midst of like a heated battle. You know, like they've been going at it all day. And, you know, in the middle of this, they just kind of stop and they're just like, wait a minute, this is, something's happening. This is kind of sexy. <laughs> kiss, kiss, kill, kill. Kiss, or, kiss, kill, yeah, kill. Yeah, the reverse. And they were roommates. <laughs> they were roommates. You want to get an apartment Oh my god, they were roommates. Yeah, this is, this is, this is an argument they were having back when they were, back when they were at crime college, where they crime learned how college. to do, how to do crime. And they realized, oh, actually, we could we could just do crime together. What if we took over the world together? What if you and I kissed while d uh, d bringing out the demise of the question? Is that weird? Would that be weird? Why are, are you not are you not as into this as I am? I mean, <laughs> God forbid women do anything. I love women. I love women. Alright, and then let's, uh... Oh yeah, you love uh, women, name every single woman ever. Uh, fuck, um, Whitney Houston! We all know every pony is, on, is an honorary woman. Honorary woman? <laughs> oh, oh, we've got the arm dra the, the hoof draped over the back. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that's how it starts. Nightmare Moon is, is pretty gosh dang skinry. But, um, like, my god, so, uh, Chrysalis has got, like, a whole other level of, of I am made of of twig and then actually you know what shoot i need to stick bug yeah she is stick bug um, <laughs> we're gonna go we're actually get gonna stick later. bugged <laughs> get oh, stick buggable now haha <laughs> <laughs> you fool you thought i was a normal stick bug living within your garden but actually i was a changeling and i'm now going to single the entire changeling <laughs> army onto your location get fucked bozo <laughs> It is too late, like, Queen Christmas. Like, like I have like... doxed your location. Looking, looking at this, it's almost like Christmas should be like kind of sitting down, almost. That's like... what I'm trying to make her like. Like she's she's got like her legs like draped behind her. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like like falling into her, but I feel like I need to bring her. Bring like, her rotate. Away. I'm gonna do this. You you lose all of your body. <laughs> Delete your art. <laughs> Delete your art now. <laughs> I love your, like, Twitch, like, thing, Tim. <laughs> oh, yeah, P P Punkit made that for me. This seems like Chrysalis's army might be winning because they're beating into Nightmare Moon's uh, castle. But Nightmare Moon is clearly winning against Chrysalis on a 1v1. You may be winning on the physical battlefield, but can you win in the battlefield of love? <laughs> <laughs> we are watching Love Bloom on the battlefield. I would say this sounds toxic, but given who these characters are, it, it might actually make sense. Not me trying to actively figure out how um, Clip Studio works while I'm using Clip Studio. Clip Studio Pootie. We love, we love to learn new programs. No, no, no. You get to speak for yourself. You're not including me in this mess. <laughs> I love Clip Studio Pootie. All right, and then we're going to do... Um, is 50 too big? 50 is too big. The whole canvas is too big. Hold on. The whole canvas that? is water. This is a joke from my Tagalog speaking folks. Uh, get it too big? Like like water? Uh, yeah, that'll make the edit. <laughs> Surely. <laughs> <laughs> we'll fix it in post. Canvas. Too big is water right? in Tagalog. There we go. That should be better. That's that is framed quite well. Yeah. Like this this is this is giving sudden realization. This is like, oh, all that intense feeling that I was having. It Fire hasn't actually been anger. Oh shit. <laughs> like fireworks going off in the background, except those are like yeah. explosions from the artillery. <laughs> it's the rocket's red glare. <laughs> they have fireworks, they can make this rockets, is, is they have the technology. In the end, or? I, I see that moment there where they have the sort of love moment and the explosion in the background. It's like loads of changeling soldiers go flying everywhere. <laughs> oh, I'm <doing> that. <laughs> nice. I'm imagining 
bat ponies versus like changelings in this battle. Bird's fully going to be drawing some bat bat pony versus changeling fan art for this piece. That's actually yeah. Well, I was almost thinking here. So if we do if we do that, and then I think yeah. So I was thinking there would be like like the the explosions, you know, like in the background. Tim Sport mm-hmm. instead, but then but then even better would be just like like changelings, just like yeah, you know, like that, like using thing. it. <laughs> And just, you know, there's, that's there's what like they a look like. over here just kind of going and... <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you know, just them just like flying everywhere as they're just like caught up in this moment. Yeah. <laughs> and it, the ones in the so background are like will, just silhouettes. I will absolutely do that like in the end because I think that would be really funny. I think this is as good a place as any to, to you know, for the show, move okay. on to the next person but this is looking really is the the emotion is there and it's intense <laughs> like when the when the finished piece rocks up on screen which it will be now like i'm ex- extremely looking forward to this one okay uh next up uh, i'm um, a volunteer for next uh, just to stop myself from getting distracted from everything else let's take a look here um and see what horses we've got for you today um we have got broken wing rainbow dash and flim and flash what the heck <laughs> yes Polly represent let's oh go oh my god okay yeah. broken wing rainbow dash and flim and flam will be trapped in a storm crystal war <laughs> rainbow dash mind you i'm not very good at sketching uh, digitally that's but okay you give yourself more credit you can fix it in post. Well, yeah, you, you said the scenario was caught in a storm or something? Yeah, caught in a storm. Because Fortnite. <laughs> <laughs> it's really like Fortnite with you or something. It's usually Command and Conquer, actually. Ah, okay. I don't like Fortnite. <laughs> Command and Conquer is a classic RTS game from the 90s. Uh, it really jump-started the RTS game genre. I miss Command and Conquer so much. <laughs> Okay, so are they kind of both into her, and she's like... The idea is they are afraid of the storm outside. They're gonna be huddled up very close in panic. Uh, I'm drawing them completely from memory right now. That's fine, it's what they deserve. I mean, Flim and Flam specifically. <laughs> like, it's the finished uh, part of it that where we like bring in the references and make it more accurate. Surely, yeah, maybe. Yeah. Oh, yeah. what? Oh, no. If you hear me making eating noises, please kill me immediately. Making what? Eating noises. I have food oh, in here. Bleeding. I heard bleeding, and I was like, bleeding. <laughs> oh, bleeding? Uh, I mean, maybe kill me as well if you hear that. <laughs> it's, it's you know, finish the job. Finish the job. Yeah, when when when, when birds on the mic like, ah, ah, <laughs> then it's you know it's time it's time to put him out of his misery. Because that's when that's when the assassins have shown up. Ah, finally. They're trying to take information from me, like, like I can't let them know about Redacted, so, like, I'd rather die than give away that information, so, you know. Gotta go down with the ship. Mm-hmm. Hey. Now the ship, hey! The portions looks terrible, his head is, like, huge. <laughs> like, we'll fix it in part. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I kind of I kind of like the, the Flim Flam look, look smaller, though, because it's just, like, they're shrinking away from the storm out of fear. That's how Ram- sticking to it. Ram- Rainbow Dash is just there, like, oh my god, these pathetic men. Oh pathetic no, men. why am I feeling <laughs> this men, way about pathetic know. men? They, they activate her uh, nurturing protective visits. <laughs> just be like, gosh dang, you guys, can't you can't you take care of yourselves? What I gotta do everything? I wish I knew yeah, how to quit least you. you. can always be at least it's not Zephyr Breeze. <laughs> yeah, it's still not Zephyr Breeze. Just Zephyr in the corner crying. <laughs> Sopping wet Zephyr outside. <laughs> yes, yeah, Zephyr is in the Thinking that he was gonna get with Rainbow Dash, and it just backfired. <laughs> Gets struck by lightning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Get Rex Zephyr Breeze. I think Anthro Pegasi should be able to shoot lightning out of their hands, hands like Palpatine. I mean, what? You know what? I support this head cannon. Yeah. Give Pegasus more power. They have their weather magic. Uh, it's. It, Fighting is is this is this uh, the breeze? 
<laughs> he's just watching from the window. Oh, he's getting zapped. <laughs> oh, <goodness. laughs> Finally, this man gets what he deserves. Paste on the floor. An example of why they are so fearful of the whale well outside. <laughs> Paste on the floor. Paste on the floor. What else could I add in, in this horrible, horrific mess? Jar. So. No, 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 no. I put the jar on the table. I need to be publicly executed. <laughs> you will be. That's why we're waiting for those assassins to arrive. Wait, you're sending them? Oh god, no! Fuck! I mean, of course it takes a while for them Good to work, arrive eh? when, when we only uh, pay for the discount. But when you want someone dead on a budget. You fool! Your Solar Star Assassins didn't kill me! The, the hell of a boss theme song starts playing in the background. We got it very rough here, now I will, I will be needing references to get the details right. You reckon this is this is this is going to be the sketch for for now? This, is it? This is as better, as good I can do a, a rough sketch. Uh, Fair enough. I love it. Um, yeah. I cannot wait to see Zephyr Breeze get fucking wrecked. <laughs> Pace on the um, floor. Pace on the detail. Fame. Destroy him. Ash on the ground. <laughs> Ash on the ground. Turn his ass into a pillar of salt. I just, I just want to know how he got there. Like, look at, look at Fluttershy. Look at her mom and dad. How did we end up here? How did well, he fell down a right wing rabbit hole? What? At Fluttershy's parents, and where they claim that they are not as assertive as Fluttershy is. You are bound to have one kid who abuses the fuck out of it. Oh. All little Brad who knew he could get away with uh, a lot of shit just right, with the tiniest bit of fake tear and because the parents couldn't speak up. There, there was this kid in my class whose mother, father, and younger sister were completely deaf, but he had no hearing issues whatsoever. It's like, it's, oh it's got to be the same thing, right? I think with with this with this sketch just about wrapping up now, um, I think we can take a look at the we take a look at the next pairing um, and executive decision here. Uh, Bob, we'll have you next. Oh no, that's me. Oh, no, that's you can't hide forever. Oh, I don't know. I make a pretty good job of this so far. The the assassins we hired are very good. Everyone will be dead by the end of this uh, stream. I mean, recording. Agent Forty Seven gets a lot of work from us. Okay, Bob, your two ponies are the ones I know. Okay, Vinyl Scratch. Oh, it's someone's going to shout that this is rigged. The situation we've got is they are bored on a Sunday afternoon. See the. The, the first place my mind goes is a very old episode of Tony Hancock, but no one's going to know the reference to that. So now the picture, the picture on the card has two ponies kind of sat under the shade of a tree. If yeah, that I was thinking gives you on so I've got to ship them, and they've got to be bored about it. That is quite the prompt. <laughs> uh, I, I, I am just drawing at this point. Don't find me drafting horses. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, someone should make a show about that. Roll credits. Like, every time I search up draft horses on YouTube, I get, like, actual horse clips. And every time we kiss, I swear I could fly. <laughs> Next. Can never get them to look right. They're always either too fat or too thin. Turn into giraffe. Yeah. Giraffe horses. I can't even remember what Kane's mane looks like, if I'm honest, but I'm not going to look. He's fun to try and do it from memory. That's okay. <laughs> that that, that, that oh, looks yeah. fun, right? It's close enough. I feel like while I'm drawing this, I'm going to make many people unintentionally angry with my lack of bony knowledge. <laughs> oh, good, good. Do you even remember I, I what happened at specifically 15 minutes and 45 seconds in episode 3 at, uh, of season 9? <laughs> oh, I don't even remember what happened this morning. You? <laughs> no, I'm not if, there. If the answer is yes, I'm a little concerned about you, but that's okay. I'm not. I I, ha I don't think I've gotten past season three or four yet. Oh I, no, I you can't say that out loud. Oh, oh fuck! Oh fuck! 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 Am I getting assassinated? <laughs> fuck! <laughs> yes, yes, you are. They are on their way. <laughs> Please. <laughs> I have a family, and uh, I think, uh, and, uh, uh, and friends, I and, I want a family, um, oh no. So what, what are Cade and some vinyl going to be doing while bored see, on a Sunday I'm, afternoon? See, I'm trying to think what I do when I'm bored on a Sunday afternoon. Sadly, Sunday is probably one of my most productive days, so... Um, <laughs> they basically just have them 
sat on the sofa watching the TV, almost sort of just like channel surfing. Yeah. And then <laughs> to try and get a bit of shipping element in this, even though it's somewhat difficult, I haven't think about it. I'm just, just going to have vinyl bite in your ear. I'm, I'm imagining be, vinyl sorry. like <laughs> laying across cadences like here, like in front of her. The, a, a, a fun idea I've got is just to have Shining Armor leaning around the door going, hey, that's not me. Shining <laughs> <laughs> Armor on one side, Octavia on the other. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the quadruple we all need. Everything circles here. <laughs> I love circle. Circle, uh, huggable, and soft. Marketable, plushy oh, princess Kalis. Pudgy. Pudgy. <laughs> um, when you're used to pen and paper like I am almost all the time, this is very weird. Imagine we Let's get go. like uh, you get like a camera to like film yourself doing like not uh, doing it like the traditional way. <laughs> yeah, see that that would be pretty tempting, cool. I but I, I have a very small space here to work with. I literally have to strap the camera to my shoulder. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so you you would literally have to have like a almost like a GoPro. <laughs> <laughs> now drawing vinyl scratch, you, you should have a fair amount of muscle memory for this, shouldn't you? <laughs> oh, too much muscle memory. Oh, I had to draw them off and people realized. <laughs> One horse artist I was like following was like Twitch streaming themselves like drawing. And I, I I said something related to Warhammer and they're like, oh I wonder who that is, and I'm like, wait, you know who I am? Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I'm so sorry for existing and you realizing I'm existing. <laughs> <laughs> I think it says a lot and gives you an idea of how long I've been in the fandom when back when some of my stuff started gaining more traction, the way people would distinguish me was they'd go, oh, the English guy. Oh, the, the British English guy! guy. <laughs> yeah, li li literally, it was, I'm not going to say it was impossible, there were loads of us, but it was just everybody assumed everybody else was American, it was absolutely hilarious. The representative um, of all British <laughs> horse artists. Ambassador yeah, from the UK it. to the Brony fan, the Bob the Dalek. Yeah. It was one of those things where I would yeah. still do um, British English spellings. And mm. I would make references to things just, you know, off the top of my head. I think the, the one that caused the biggest stir is where I had I had vinyl opening um, what in America would be a cookie jar, but I wrote biscuits on it and that sent them <laughs> mad. <laughs> And the, the best part is, it's just when you see, it doesn't happen so much now, but certainly it's when you see the penny drop and people realise I'm not in America, guys. And the sheer amount of British sighted. tea should be enough. British detected. Executed. So, basically, now that the idea is in my head, I'm going to go with that shining armour idea. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it's like a, a three-way poly and shiny armor's like, hey, when when does she when does she chew on my ear? Yeah, I, I kinda want to draw a shining armor looking through the window now, going, hey, that's my wife! <laughs> my wife! My wife. <laughs> my wife! <laughs> my wife. Oh, yeah. Shiny Armor's there. coming in carrying like a, a tray of tea and his mug's the one that says respecting women juice on the side. <laughs> <laughs> I love women. <laughs> I mean, he is the one who uh, doesn't cry, he only oh, has no. liquid pride. I just, look, <laughs> alright, I was a little upset at my headcanon of him being ace when, you know, the baby happened. Not to disregard ace people who, you know, do, but I, my headcanon was that he was an ace person who didn't. I mean, I have a friend who uh, who's ace person who doesn't, but he makes sure that his kids anyway. <laughs> and Vinyl Scratch is looking very guilty. She's just like, I've been caught. And Cadence just doesn't care. C Cadence is just the, like, oh, God damn it, bargain hunt entered. What are we going to watch now? Um... <laughs> the best part is, Tim, that was exactly my fault. So so <laughs> British brain activate. <laughs> bargain Hunt is a weirdly addictive show, though. Like, Which one? Like oh, it like is. So, basically, uh, you have two teams of contestants. Uh, both teams of two. Normally, it's either very old people, uh, students, or the classic son slash daughter slash parent. Uh, and basically, they are given three hundred pounds, and they go around an antique fair trying to find items that they can then later sell at an auction for a profit. Uh. Oh yeah, yeah, we've got something and... similar here in America, um, except it's 
It, it's a show where it's literally everybody who lives here is playing it, and none of it is recorded. With bargain hunts, give you an idea of how wild it can get. Um, just because I just may have watched an episode today, we may be recording this on a Sunday. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Each team gets an expert, and the expert buys an additional item that they can or can't switch in and out to try and get more profit. Um, one of the experts bought a silver bowl, which they dated uh, 1770, and they took it to auction, and basically the auctioneer went, no, sorry, the hallmarks on the silver bowl are too badly scuffed. This is a fake reproduction. <laughs> Oh no. And they, they spent about £140 on it and it went for 30 No. <laughs> Bringing down that net loss, at least. I mean. Oh, uh, damn. That might be me there, sketching twice. <laughs> if nice. that still makes sense when it's really well done. <laughs> is, wait, is Shiny Armor wearing a maid? I the... just noticed yeah. that. I knew that. <laughs> just, That's great. Oh my just god. Felt right. I love um, my boy wife. Don't you mean your husband, Cadence? Oh, wait, no. <laughs> wait, wait, hang on, hang on. It's, it's, I love my oh, boy. No, that's I, that's it. In. That's it. Oh. I'm gonna be single forever because I'm never going to call my future potential husband anything other than boy wife now. <laughs> oh, boy wife. I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask. I'm Missing gonna ask somebody to marry detail. me and be like, "Will you be my boy wife?" <laughs> I'm gonna say she's is... so zoned out that no, it's just a <laughs> white unicorn with blue oh, and dark blue hair. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh wait, yeah, they're the same color. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. She, she's she's too bargain hunt brain. <laughs> okay, I, I'm looking forward to all of these. Like so far, yeah. this is this is just yeah. Okay, I'll I'll take next and see what we've got. My two ponies are Bon Bon and Nightman. <laughs> no, that's my wife. Bon Bon and Nightmare Moon, and the situation is... <laughs> Beach episode! Beach episode! Yes! Supping wet chrysalis, like, in go. the ocean. That's genius. <laughs> this is a continuation. This is, like, after um, they started officially dating, and now she's regretting it. Yeah, everything. okay, Maybe okay. Maybe I shouldn't have started dating the person I was trying to murder. Let's see. Attempting to murder is just hardcore flirting. Okay. Pushes you against okay. the wall, puts a knife up to your throat. Hey, honey. So I'm thinking like Bon Bon's walking past and approaching while Nightmare Moon's kind of like got a parasol kind of thing going here. Off in the water over here is going to be Chrysalis being like, Qu'est-ce que c'est the fuck? Um, it's even funnier <laughs> because I don't think bugs like water. <laughs> there's plenty of water bugs. You know, there's shrimp, there's crabs. Lobsters. Oh, sorry, I forgot. We're not supposed to call the tasty ones bugs. Um, there's Wait. beetles. <laughs> Crooked beetle, the horse art. I mean, she's got elytra. Like, she is a beetle, right? I just learned what that word meant recently. I thought it was a Minecraft thing, and then I found out it was an actual bug thing. And I'm gonna look this up. I, 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 didn't, I don't know what elytra means. An elytra is a modified hardened forewing of beet. Oh. Yeah, yes, what I've just yeah. called the back shields. Which is weird because it's not the part that they fly with, it's the part that covers the part that they fly with. The protection. Not like the wings. So why are we using the elytra to fly in Minecraft if that's not the part that we fly with? It's just the part that covers the part that we fly with. My whole cool. life is a lie! <laughs> <laughs> if you if friend. you know me, anytime there's a Minecraft server, like I'm always going to construct a berry bunker. Like, no fail. Berry bunker. Berry bunker. Uh, I want to know what. Okay, that's it. We're we're yeah. Um, I might need to drag you into a Minecraft server with me. All all bird gangs born after uh, redacted know how to do is build berry <laughs> bunker, live underground, and uh, populate the environment with sweet berry bushes that you get tangled like, in and you die in. My, the my, only my thing entire... I do in Minecraft is just digging down and start mining because I like to mine. It's wherever you spawn in, as soon as you spawn in, you dig a little hole, you beat down the nearest tree, and then you immediately start digging straight down. Minecraft. Uh, I make a little den first, and then I I build down, uh, dig down, but not straight down. I make it so I don't just fall into lava. And... Oh no, Leroy Jenkins, that shit. Like just no, no, just go no, for no. it. I... I do it methodically. <laughs> I have a system. I have a system. Yes. 
There's poor Chrysalis in the background on the <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Chrysalis can do naught but watch. Honestly, I wasn't planning on her being in in the inner tube. Those were supposed to be her wings, but now that you've said oh. it, I think that's very funny. Yeah. And I'm going she's to just incorporate floating on, it. Like, the little the little round little floaties and just hello. Yeah. <laughs> My wife. Not for long. <laughs> no. Having fun not. at the beach. Chrysalis is drowning. This isn't about her. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You get it. <laughs> uh, does Nightmare Moon's cutie mark? differ from Luna's at all? Uh, in shape, no, but in color, yes. Right. Okay. <laughs> Give us the specific hex code. H268 uh, L23. Oh, excuse me, hex code, excuse me. A H, H, like, I don't remember that being an hexadecimal. <laughs> Sorry, it's, it's, my, it's my wife. My like, wife. I love her. She's my favorite. I love women. Tim, where's Lyra? <laughs> Why don't you ask Nightmare Moon? <laughs> oh, just show like the moon and then it yes. has Lyra in it. Yeah, gonna, hey, I'm honey, do you have games on your phone? Lyra <laughs> moon's pick up light and say, hey, do you got games on your phone? <laughs> you got games on your phone. <laughs> when they paused fighting in the Inaki's uh, picture, that's, that's the question that did it. You got um, games on your phone, babe. Oh, one of the ponies getting flung in the background of mine should be Bon Bon. Oh, uh, ponytail. Pony She's done up for the beach. Oh yeah. I, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Bon Bon initiated her. Oh, 100 percent. Bon Bon's on a mission. Her dexterity she, is crap. She 100 percent knew that, like you know, Nightmare Moon and Chrissy were, you know, having like a thing. She she didn't care. <laughs> Don't care. He <laughs> he knows what she's special asking. agent Sweet dropped for a smile, so of course she's up to something here. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, she was hired by Princess Celestia. Oh no. It was all a government uh, a conspiracy. Oh, government conspiracy. <laughs> yeah, this is, this oh, yeah, is this because she's an agent. Like, did you even love me? She's an agent. Yeah, this 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 is a honey trap. This is exactly a honey trap. Yeah, booby traps. Yeah, I'd fall into a trap if they were. <laughs> 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 Easiest way to get my attention. Hello. <laughs> From the flat sticks to the big mommy milkers, it's all good. Wait, what? <laughs> Despite all being interviewed separately, they all said the same response. This is- this- I love this, that this is my first, uh, Draft Horse episode, and, like, I get to draw my favorite pony, and, like, other people are drawing my favorite pony. Like, my favorite pony doesn't get nearly enough love. Night by Moon see. is best horse. Fight me. <laughs> this is a hill I will die on. Fair and valid. Good Anyways, hi to uh, whoever's editing this. Uh, I I just want to ask: Do you have games on your phone? Like <laughs> like send send me the games on your phone, like in like a Tumblr ask. My Tumblr is the Bird Gang, I think. I should be addicted should to Tumblr, Tumblr instead of Twitter. That's the better of two evils. Twi Twitter Twitter's evil is just you know Elon, but then but yeah. then Tumblr's e evil is literally everybody else on the website. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but if someone if someone annoys you annoys you, you just kung pao penis them and they go away. Kung pao yeah, exactly. penis. What? You don't know about kung pao penis? No? On Tumblr, um, if if someone has like a really bad take or a bad faith take, people will like start reblogging it and just adding one letter at a time to their reblog. K U N G. And just spell out Kung Pao Penis. So the person on the receiving end, the original poster, their notifications get flooded with thousands of reblogs of just single letters. And from their end, it just appears like random letters. And then they go onto the post and see what it spells. <laughs> That's incredible. It's very funny. And then they yeah. spontaneously explode and die. That's what it does to a motherfucker. Okay, yeah, I think this is my sketch for now. There's one individual left. Uh -oh. Yep, there is. Only oh, one God. remains. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I'm not nervous. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Last one to fall. It's winter. Um, take the shot. What are you waiting for? <laughs> take the sh Fuck, 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 fuck. Closing my window. No, no, okay. no, 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 no. <laughs> you okay, so Bird, the last thing before the assassins get you. Your two ponies are... Clay, young and hot Granny Smith. 
Yes! And Major General Dash. This this looks like it's an alternate universe card. Um, she's marked as a villain on this one. Holy shit. So, Evil Army General Rainbow Dash X Young and Hot Granny Smith. As you do. Oh boy. As you do. I yeah. love war. Your situation between these two is... <laughs> Oh, no, okay, no. you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna love this. You're gonna love this. All right. Worldwide threat of destruction. Oh, incredible! <laughs> oh, oh boy, this is feeling very funny to me as a, a casual Apple Dash shipper because it's like <laughs> off to visit your mother. What if Evil Rainbow Dash is like I would burn the world for you, and Granny Smith is like please don't, and Rainbow Dash is like too late. We launched the weather magic nukes that will create an eternal storm that encompasses the entire world. Only Pegasi will be allowed to live in. Uh, what what kind of plan is that, Ram evil Rainbow Dash? You're, you're falling in love with a fucking Earth Pony. She has to rescue the one Earth Pony she cares about from, from fire and destruction. You, you will be the only one I spare in this, like, worldwide, like, catastrophe. <laughs> hmm, I hate I you the least. Yeah, I'm taking you with me. Big evil uh, military leader, uh, Rainbow Dash. I kind of like like you. <laughs> <laughs> Granny Smith just staring at her like, that's a terrible decision. <laughs> <laughs> that's a terrible decision, but I'm going with it. But Fuck I this mean, planet. Uh, I don't want to die. I want to die, so... I mean, if you know anything about Granny Smith, is uh, she's an opportunist. Oh. <laughs> How much do you know about apples? How know. much do you know about thermonuclear bombs? <laughs> More than she should. Wait. Appleheimer. My bomb will <laughs> kill people. I've never been, I've never been to Nevada. <laughs> the Crystal War went in a very different direction when Rainbow Dash overthrew the Wonderbolts, took command herself, found the plans to like the, the super weapon that the Wonderbolts were secretly building, and uses it to defeat the Crystal Empire, and also everyone else along with it as a sort of a scorched earth fucking last resort as everything everything goes to shit. And also Granny Smith is younger in this universe for some reason. It, it, it was a result of uh, the new super soldier experiment, they turned her young. I'm giving Rainbow Dash more cybernetics, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to give her like a steel yeah. jaw and everything. <laughs> Gr Granny Granny Smith finally came home from Beach that makes you old, and she got better. Beach that makes you younger. <laughs> <laughs> Still trying to think about the background. I mean, an oh, explosion be... would be the easiest one. They're in an underground bunker, and there's like uh, multiple fucking screens of the entire world, and there's just all of them are just like going to shit. Okay, yeah, th th there's a bunch of like mini drawings, I guess, of like multiple scenes of this destruction going on in the world, and, and there's just like text i guess up here that's like i did it all for you baby <laughs> this is all for us there we go this was all for you we're gonna expand the canvas so that we can make even more screens with even more stuff in it and we can detail more stuff inside the screens hey granny smith have you ever heard of global warming <laughs> oh no how about we accelerate it a little bit okay, i got a globe you could warm wait <laughs> <laughs> It'd be so funny if I made every single screen their own individual drawing, like high quality with shading and everything, and I I, 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 I died from exhaustion. <laughs> There's Manhattan getting like flooded or something. Uh, I don't fucking know. There's buildings or something here. <coughs> they got artillery struck and now fuck, goddamn, nature hates us now, I guess. Good. To imply it ever didn't. <laughs> it's gonna be it's gonna be like dark and damp in this underground fuck bunker. It's dark. Lit by the glow of the screens showing yeah. 15 911s. <laughs> oh no! Celestia, a, a second storm has hit a question. Sorry, third, sorry, fourth, <laughs> sorry, seventh, sorry, 18th, yeah. sorry, 50th, sorry, 100th, sorry. Granny Smith is surprisingly chill about all this. <laughs> Granny Smith is a special case character development. I don't know, watch the previous episodes of uh Granny Smith has always yes. been a part of uh, been a part of the uh, um what was it the, the deep the deep fake the deep space the deep state that one the deep state <laughs> This this is how the Netflix show Inside Job should have ended. This is how Inside Job should have ended. <laughs> Inside Job should have never ended and I'm still mad about it. Knowing that there's supposed to be more makes it frustrating. 
Oh, yeah. Especially mm, reading yeah. the spoilers that got released in the end, because they're like, you deserve to know where we were planning on going with this, makes my heart weep. At least Santal World and, and Kipo got, got to tell their stories in full. Mm. God, Kipo does not get talked about enough. Go, don't right? don't let me get on this. Don't let me get on this. Um, <laughs> this, this soapbox about it, you yeah, guys. This is I about fucking love Kipo. <laughs> so good. Everything about it's amazing. <laughs> storytelling to the character to the cast to every single song in this entire friggin' show. Here it comes. <laughs> <laughs> It's amazing what you can do with so few lines. That seems to be the theme with like every time you see me draw. And yeah. <laughs> All of these screens are just showing the Linkin Park music video for what I've done, but they're all out of sync, so they're showing different bits. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, what is on this last screen? I have no idea. Probably a couple of royal guards watching another storm. Some of those background panels should absolutely be the full pieces that we're working on right now. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that'd I mean, be good. I mean, you can use mine. It's, uh, it it's a stormy weather. <laughs> it, it's all connected somehow. It's all connected. This all happened because someone moved a chair. <laughs> <laughs> Depending on where they put the chair is each disaster. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, and every explosion just looks like a, a rain boom. Hell yeah. Yes. It's the mega spells. Yeah. Mega spells falling. <laughs> I think it's basically like, like, uh, I'll plan it out. Like, like I can like do like the other screens later, probably. Yeah, because there's there's four left, and there's there's four other drawings. So those those can be the screens that our <laughs> finished pieces can go on. <laughs> <I love it. laughs> oh, I will never be finished. I will never be done. The drawing will go on forever. I will not let you destroy my world. <laughs> <laughs> Only dooming yourself. <laughs> but yeah, uh, th this is like the gist of it, basically. Like, the, like uh, it's got a good energy. Oh yeah. Alone in the darkness, the only life light that's left is the one inside of your little nuclear bunker with your girlfriend, I guess. <laughs> Sometimes that's all you ever need. <laughs> Well, I think today we have successfully brought romance back, and we have brought love to Equestria. We have also destroyed Equestria, but, you know. Only a couple of times. Equestria can have a little bit of destruction. It's, it's okay. As a tree. They're, they're good at rebuilding. So I, 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 think, I, think we can, I think we can say, Dear Princess Celestia, today we learned that Nightmare Moon gets around. She gets... What's with that? Your faithful students, the draft horses. The horse I um, pulled for I... being evil as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I have been Tim Splosion, and you can find me on the internet pretty much everywhere as Tim Splosion. Uh, yeah, I'm uh, Puffy Ravenpuff. Uh, you can find me as Ravenpuff or Puffy Delicious or the Den of Ra uh, Ravenpuff. You, you try and see if you can find me. Hi, I'm Bob the Dalek. Uh, you can find me at many places named Bob the Dalek. Thanks, 14 year old me. <laughs> or named as Kettle Master. I'm the Bird Gang in a couple of places. Uh, uh, so, like, Tumblr, uh, Twitter, 8K subscriber YouTube channel. Watch the Bird Gang on YouTube. I am Aki Neko, or the real Aki Neko, not to imply that all those other ones are imposters. They're imposters. Um, those them. are like, literally the only two usernames that I ever use. You can find me on Twitter, Blue Sky. Uh, I want to say DeviantArt, even though I haven't opened it in, like, probably five years. And I will see you guys at BabsCon. If it's still there. It is, it is. It's still there this year. <laughs> if it's still if there. The moon hasn't it's blown happening. it up. No, I bought enough stuff for my after dark hole. No, the it, weather it, bombs it, 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 will fall. All will be drowned in an endless sea. <laughs> <laughs>